again to this church, and we are so thankful. So thankful to have this church. And I just wanted to I wanted to get up when we got back on our trip because we traveled all those miles and didn't have any problems whatsoever. And went, went all the way around, went to the Shepherdsville, the campground, then back through Paducah, and then back through Nashville, and then here, and, and was gone about 10 days. And uh, But God is so good. Amen. Amen. It's almost like we couldn't hardly wait to get home. Amen. CB said, I just can't take my eyes off the road because I want to just get there. Just want to get there. And so what we did, it was like, you know, a fresh start. Fresh start. Just a fresh start. Just a new beginning. One more every day is brand new. Every day is brand new. And when we got here, it was like, you know, we're going to just uh, enjoy the rest of the life, our life that the Lord has given us. I don't care how old we are. I don't. I mean, you know, because God is so good. He can give you joy. He can give you happiness. He can give you peace of mind no matter what age you are. And I'm thankful that he has given us the understanding. And uh, uh, to uh, we heard so much up at the campground. Uh, the little lady, Brother Marlon, I know talked about it, the sister Robert, I think it was her name, but she was 82 years old. And let me tell you what a message she had. Mm -hmm. She had the message of the hour because she saw the vision of his robe. But his robe was one piece. One piece. Woven in one piece. One piece. Not put together. No tears. It was so wonderful. Brother Marlowe said that was worth the trip. And I said, yes, it really was. It really was. Because you see how we feel? It's in the air. It's in the air. And you think, oh, well, we got this and nobody else has it. Let me tell you. God is good, and He's a big God, and He is everywhere. His Spirit is working. His Spirit is working. So don't, don't uh, give up. Don't give up. Whatever you do, don't give up. Just keep reaching. Keep reaching because we have things that He has in store for us to look forward to. And, you know, it was like going back to Paducah and what we've been back when we've been through the last uh, three years, well, actually be three years in March, when first I lost my mother before we come, then uh, uh, I lost my brother in 09, and uh, that was quite a shock for me because I'm the last one standing in, in our family, you know, as far as that part goes besides my children. And uh, that gives you an empty feeling sometimes. Gives you a lone feeling. But... We had the church. We had the church. And that has gotten us through. It has really gotten us through. And uh, I just I just wanted to tell the Lord how thankful we are. How thankful. Sister you are so right. How thankful we are for all that he has done for us. And you know what? All he ask in return is for us to praise Him. Amen. Just praise Him. Just love Him. Just praise Him. Praise and He God. will do more than we can ever, ever imagine. Because you know where it comes from? It comes from deep within. And it's the peace. It's the peace that passes all understanding. And I just, I'm so thankful. I, I have such a thankful heart. Amen. Amen.